Hello everyone and welcome. This video serves as your orientation for your classes this semester. I put this video up so you could have something to refer to without having to contact your teacher every so often. We are still in this pandemic and I understand that getting around is still very much of a problem for all of us. Many of the things discussed here apply to most regular courses in the university. Just be sure to get in touch with your course instructors for specific instructions, especially those about submission of assessment activities. Wherever you are watching this video from, I sincerely hope that you and your family are safe from all physical ailments. Again. Welcome and enjoy the ride. Our university has adopted a blended learning mode of delivery. That means we make use of not only one, but several strategies in the delivery of each course. A few of you might have limited face-to-face -face classes, as in the case of nursing and midwifery students. Some of you may have purely online classes, synchronous or asynchronous. Still. Some may have opted for printed materials designed for self-learning. Whatever mode you are in, you'll find out that it's always good to be open. Be open to changes and receptive to all modes. Needless to say, it is critical that you and your teacher stay in touch. Always keep that communication line open. Also, let us not forget to practice kindness all the time. Be kind to yourself, your classmates, and your teachers. Most importantly, take charge. By now, we should have developed the skills we need to overcome the challenges of the pandemic. Let us not allow it to overpower us or make it an excuse for being tardy or mediocre. While we recognize the difficulties we are faced, let us not forget that we still have classes to attend, quizzes and exams to take, and a future to prepare for. Depending on the nature of the course you are enrolled in or the teacher that handles your course, you might be using either one or all of the following online learning management systems. Google Classroom, Google Meet, Zoom, Facebook, and Facebook Messenger. When using any of these platforms, there are a few guidelines to remember. First, use only your registered name. That means the name as listed at the registrar's office when you enrolled. Please understand that your teachers handle hundreds of students per semester and proper identification of students is of utmost importance surely you do not want your grades mixed up with somebody else's especially if you put in the hard work second always be kind and courteous our situation does not need to be any more difficult than it already is this is the best time to finally end bullying and the best time to bring out the kindest version of ourselves third Respect each other's privacy. I trust your judgment on which matters can be shared publicly. However, as a general rule, whatever happens in class, stays in class. For example, your grades are private. I cannot share them publicly. Your learning materials are university properties and cannot be shared publicly, especially for personal profit. Conflicts and complaints must be settled privately between the persons in conflict only. If you feel your issue is beyond personal dialogue, please refer to your student handbook. 4. A friendly reminder. Always make backup copies of all your files. That includes your learning materials, notes, especially your accomplished assessment activities. We may have introduced big changes because of the pandemic, but there are non-negotiable standards we have to comply with. That is, we still have to give grades and you still have to work for those grades. The good news is that the university has allowed for a simplified periodization of classes. But first, a disclaimer. What I am about to discuss may not apply to all classes. I can only guarantee that this is the scheme I am following for the classes which I am handling. Back in the old normal, our classes were divided into a preliminary, midterm, pre-final, and a final period. This has now been simplified into two, midterm period and final period. Class activities still make up 60% and major examinations 40%. Class activities may include quizzes, assignments, projects, 
and others. Again, this may not apply to all your classes. It is very important that you reach out to your specific course instructors if you have questions regarding this. Now, here are some reminders for when submitting via the ESU Dropbox. The ESU Dropbox should be located at a conspicuous place at your respective municipal hall buildings. Before dropping it, make sure you have made backup copies of whatever you are submitting. Trust me, you never know when you're going to need them. Package your documents securely. I recommend placing them inside a plastic envelope to shield them from dust and the rain. Always write your name on your paper. As much as possible, write it on every page. Seal your envelope and label it like so. Finally, when submitting via email, please remember the following. First, make backup copies of all your files. Second, use only the recommended file formats. Personally, I recommend PDF, MS Word, WPS, and Microsoft Excel when applicable. Third, write your name on every page. Fourth, before submitting, rename your files as shown on your screens. Fifth, submit only via the recommended platform. For this, you need constant communication with your instructor. Before I end this presentation, here are a few more reminders. First, everything discussed in this video can change anytime. Second, not everything discussed here apply to all your classes. It is best that you contact your specific course instructors for further instructions. This is not meant to replace real person-to-person -person correspondence between you and your teacher. Finally, while I am confident that I am not breaking any university policy by making and uploading this video, I would like to emphasize that this is not official. Let's just say that this is a personal initiative for the classes that I am handling. Thank you all so much for watching. I am happy to be part of your college life and I wish to meet every single one of you when the world gets better.